I would not like a trash like this lying in my house. You know? Yeah, this, this zinger of yours, this absolutely fucking, you know, great piece of literature that you've written, this work, the caliber of Tolstoy and Dostoevsky. Yeah. Take your fucking literature! I and don't worry about the garbage. I'll clear it. Check your trash can tomorrow. I've got another copy. <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing. I did nothing. He, he, he said, I wasn't self-wild enough. <laughs> didn't demean myself enough in the manner befitting the floor manager of a chic French restaurant. <laughs> He wanted me to bow and scrape more. Madame, can I lick clean the heels of your stilettos? Can I put the little, little heels in my mouth and nibble on the things till I clean my tonsils? Can I lick the cracks between your toes? Oh, come on, come on, that's drama, that's drama. He didn't say that. That's drama. But, oh, I got laid. I got laid all night last night. <laughs> away. I got laid away. <laughs> Thinking of you. <laughs> Coming back. <laughs> to the start of the, the lonely room. <laughs> Without furniture. And if he's so fucking concerned about the lack of furniture in my life, why doesn't he at least cough up a coffee table or something? <laughs> coffee table. So we are back to the money. I guess we are. But you're not sure. I am. Are you? Yes. Is this why you came? Why I came? Yes. Didn't you come for the money? Yes. Or did you come about your book? No. Yes, no, yes, what? Yes. <laughs> I came. <laughs> what does that mean? What does anything? What does that mean? What does what mean? What does what you just said mean? What does what I just said mean? Yes. What did I say? You said what does anything mean? Exactly. What does anything mean? That's what I'm asking you. Oh, fuck, fuck it. <laughs> Cruel intentionally. No! I got angry because living penniless in Jankpura village at the age of 36 wasn't my idea of romance and excitement. Well, you never had romance in your soul. It was not romance to me. At 16, sure. At 26, maybe. At 36, an, an, an ICCR-sponsored Pirangi opera at Siri Fort was, was just another musical I couldn't afford to see. Unlike <laughs> which I never wanted to see. <laughs> Lived the way I have all these years. Oh, 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 oh. So here comes out the magic word, the hidden word, the secret word. You mean I would not have suffered. I don't mean that. You mean exactly that, no. Harry. You mean I'm not wearing your badge? Your badge of this kurta wearing, chola carrying, chappal wearing, struggling, wandering, communist slogan mouthing writer come activist who is the only major hero in his own decidedly minor tragic comedy. <laughs> but then you're right. I don't believe in suffering. Jesus, I mean only this. What is your idea of the creative life? Is it to sit around here taking mean-spirited pictures of people? Or is it, as you say, to finally write again? Because if that is, that is it, then I have a suggestion. There's a machine sitting over there, turn the damn thing on. I, I want you to withdraw this book. Oh, what's to withdraw? It hasn't gone anywhere. You know what I mean. No, no, I can't do it. What do you think? This, this, this rage gari that you will make with this book, will it compensate for all the heartache it will cause when it comes out? Heartache? I'm walking around with 150 rupees to my name in this entire kainat. But there are other concerns, Harry. Maybe not. I just want you to wait a little longer to be successful. <laughs> Who the fuck does that? Who asks someone to wait a little longer to be successful? Don't be successful today. Tomorrow, think about it. <laughs> and who the fuck, when asked, says, 
Besides, I am walking around with 150 rupees to my name in this entire Kai fucking knot. She will not feel guilty. Obviously, she wouldn't. You left her. <laughs> there are other worthy guilts, Harry. What? There are other worthy guilts. And she wouldn't take the cue. And what do you think? I don't give it to Meher. Relentlessly tell her that she is guilty. Of what? Does it matter? <laughs> because what matters is that there is no real payoff. I mean, I mean, I have to fucking sleep with her for a hundred rupee note. <laughs> Your ex-wife pays you a hundred bucks to fuck her. <laughs> Harry, Harry, it's not the way you are getting it. It's not the way you're getting it. Yakum Khan Sasti Randa. Chand se kogeli apna badan bech diya. Harry. It's not the way you're getting it. I mean, I, I find it in my pocket on my way back home, wrapped around in a clear stuffing. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Money I can understand, but why would anyone give anyone an eclair to fuck them? <laughs> no, wait, I get it. I get it. A hundred rupees and one rupee for the eclair. That's a hundred and one rupees. That's like shagun. <laughs>